Celebrating Western New York, spooky season is officially in the air, and that means haunted houses are back around the region. And one family in Niagara County is bringing theirs back, and it's bigger than ever. Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill takes us to the house that has more than just scares. Boy, was I wrong. I agreed to do the story of a charity haunted house run by a Sanborn family. Thinking it was a slightly spooky, but generally a feel good story, I did not expect these kind of reviews. What'd you think? Scared to death. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. I thought it was scary. Super cool. What a great, great, you know, idea. Hey, what'd you guys think? It was great, man. It was great. Great time. Oh, great man, time. It was sweet, man. Great time. One of the best ones we've been to, man. Thumbs up. What'd you think? Yep. What? You're out of breath. Why? Because <laughs> I just ran from that chainsaw, dude. And then. And, uh, that was oh, so was much great, fun. Great, great. We went last year at Lee Avenue, and uh, I was still scared. <laughs> but this was unreal. Yes, the former Lee home haunt is now Niagara Nightmares, a new name and a new larger location for the walkthrough attraction. Lots more room to hide bodies on rural Townline Road. A barn behind the house serves as a house of horrors, while dozens of volunteers assist with parking or concessions or scaring people to death. I'm not going to shoot any video inside the haunted house. <laughs> people running for their lives. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. It was started by a lovely couple and parents of four kids, Kyle King and his wife, Alicia. And we couldn't do it without our family. We really have an amazing family. And uh -huh. Amazing amount of help with our volunteers. And who's this again? This is my daughter, Adriana. Well, she's lovely. Thank you. There is no admission fee, but a suggested donation. They have raised $20,000 over four years. And their charity for year number five is Sweet Buffalo Rocks, which facilitates and gives coverage to happy stories relating to Western New York kids and adoptable pets. Four remaining nights to make new friends in Sanborn. They're open Friday through Monday night. Look for Niagara Nightmares on Facebook. Celebrating Western New York, I'm Kevin O'Neill. Channel 2 News.